Hello and welcome to the speed run of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Rotation series. We are going through this ASAP and uh, I'm submitting this to the awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! Games Done Quick uh, format. Let's 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 get it. So uh, first we have absolutely nothing, 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 nothing. There's a lot of nothing in this set. That's for damn sure. We've got Spore here though, although all the plant monsters rotated out, so those are no longer the case. We got some Watt monsters, which are pretty damn neat if I do say so myself. Ronan Toten, he's a bad boy. The battery man support is there, although um, all the battery mans rotated out. Our old perfection is absolutely crazy. If we pull this, we might play it. If we don't, we might not. Um, if you're in dual bling book, then that is not something that you want to see, or master duel rather. Oh boy, there really is nothing in this set, is it? Okay. Chaos Trap Hole is a pretty good trap card to let lets us negate summons. XX Saber Dark Soul is only good if we pull more than one. And uh, down here we have Infinity Barrier, making Infinity cards a little bit better, although the Secret Rare is not too good to see. We got some Gen X Controller, Gen X Undyne, and Gen X Searcher for card advantage engines here. Next up, we got X Saber Paschal, which cannot be destroyed by battle. We got Hydro Gen X, an ally of Light Gazer, just some secret monsters that may or may not see play and that is the entire set we do not have a lot going on in here some stuff that may see play some stuff that will probably not be seeing play let's move on to the card buys that's right card buy time and i'm going to be picking up two copies of fiendish chain uh, i'm using all my winning points for this bad boy here it's too good of a card to pass up and uh trap eater is gonna be seeing a lot of play this episode that is definitely for sure all right time for some pack openings but first i'm gonna throw you over to Cody for his slow ass intro. Somebody better get these goddamn reptilians off this goddamn show, is what I would say if I wasn't on my way to cool town, absolutely chilling out and tingling with relaxation. There's no hard feelings from last episode, we're just vibing. In retrospect, both me and Isaac both had opportunities in game three to dark strike fighter our opponent for the win. But in any case, no matter who punted how hard when they did, it's it's not, it's this, this we're fine. We're good, we're vibing, we're chilling, we're gonna rotate and pack eight, I don't know, bad jokes, you know, we, we don't we don't cut bad jokes now because we're so easy going right now. But the one thing that we do need to get a little bit of business done here is that we need to do our card buys. And last set, and like I, I held on to all my points uh, in the purchase for last episode because this set had a lot of powerful cards, but I did not realize that it had a lot of powerful cards. like. I didn't pull some of these cards that would have been absolutely fantastic in the in the episode. Which brings me to the long and hard thought process that led me to my first card buy this episode. The first buy is a singular copy of Reptilian Vosky. This is one this was a rare in the last set, and it's a uh, payoff to the reptilian strategy other than the hydra. This is something that I probably could have extremely used last episode because there were multiple times where I needed that I could have taken care of some problem cards by tributing them, the special summon this card on the field, and then start popping other cards that Isaac control. At least having one copy, being able to search it with reptilian gardener, provides me a alternate win condition I suppose or like an alternate boss monster that I could go into in the event that Isaac is on an anti-synchro strategy. However it's this next buy that I'm actually the most impressed that I one forgot was in the set and two did not pull a singular copy of and it's also a rare in this set. I know I'm going to be giving Isaac the idea to pick these up as I speak it to you now because Gravekeeper's Descendant I'm going to be picking up three copies of it and the reason I'm picking up Gravekeeper's Descendant is because if you read its effect, it says you contribute one other face up Gravekeeper's monster to target one card your opponent controls, destroy that target. This is an errata. Now the pre-errata for this card is it's it's one simple change. It's that the fact that it says uh, the, the fact that it says one other face up gravekeeper, that is the errata version. Previously, it used to just say one gravekeeper monster. Ergo, you could tribute itself 
to be able to destroy one card on the opponent's field. Ideally, this turns every single copy of Descendant into removal. When this episode goes up, Isaac's going to see this, or when he sees it me playing into the deck, he's going to immediately want to pick this up. So, you know, maybe I should have held on to this purchase uh, for another few episodes so that he misses his opportunity to buy it. It's one of, this is like one of those weird strategies where it's like, I want to play the best deck, but I, if I want to optimize the amount of usage it gets, I, you know, I have to figure out, do I let Isaac know now that I'm going to be picking up this amazing card? Like he picked up Dark Strike Fighter because of my explanations on it when I picked it up. So now is he going to pick up Gravekeeper's Descendant? I don't know. It's, it's, it's an interesting little dynamic that these card buys have being able to go back the past three sets. But now it's time to sell off my competitive Pokemon collection because apparently I cannot stop buying vintage Yu-Gi-Oh cards. 24 packs of the Shining Darkness. Uh, hopefully uh, the um, <clears throat> pack opener does not uh, crash uh, for, for, for whatever reason. But let's go ahead and flip up. Uh, th this pack is uh, um, uh, uh, not good. Watt Fox, dude, is this our first introduction to Watts? That if we can get enough like cool Watt stuff, that would be that would be an interesting little deck to play. Oh, what is with me and not reading names? I read this as Bird of Poses. The Shining Darkness is coming in right now. Ally Justice Destroyer, and eh. oh, we got a Black Wing Dragon. Look at this guy. A Eight stars. If you take damage from a card effect, place one back black feather counter on this card instead. It loses 700 attack for each black feather counter, but you can once per turn remove all the black feather counters on this card, target one monster your opponent controls, and that target loses 700 attack for each black feather counter you removed. And if it does, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack lost by this effect. If nothing else, it's an eight star that we can make generically. Two black wing dragons, two of them. I don't need two of those guys, but we got the ulti and the ghost. That's absolutely hilarious. Oh my God. Pack 10 intercept wave. What does this card do again? All synchro monsters on the field are changed to defense position. Then return all face up synchro monsters to the extra deck during the end phase. Cody could be doing jack with synchro monsters after I am done with them. <laughs> That's absolutely hilarious. Ronin, Tornin, and Chaos Trap Pulls actually kind of funny. That that's actually a really nice one. Uh, might come up. Might might actually come up. This is all terrible. Why is this all terrible? All these packs have been terrible. We just keep getting Changer Synchrons and Corridors of Agony. Who are you and why do you have brain hair and look like you haven't eaten? You look like the mummy dude from Courage the Cowardly Dog. You. Yeah. You, you you can you can pleasantly fuck right off whatever you are I I don't I don't want to touch you I, I, don't, I will I will I would prefer to move on to the um onto the next pack here nimble sunfish or you know what I'm, I'm actually kind of happy with this you know I'm, I'm actually like realistically all only 18 in and I'm actually kind of happy with this all right already halfway through here we get a nimble sunfish uh that's fun. I like the nimble cards. Sunfish is kind of cool too. Uh, gonna need going on like fish monsters to make this guy work, but he, he I, I like him still. He's fun. So I have two in Mato's. I got a cherry in Mato, uh, in Mato, you know, in Mato, in, <laughs> in Mato and Mato. So maybe we'll, we, we can have some uh, in Mato advantage going on here. Coming on down to the last few of the packs, let's go ahead and crack them, see what we get. Uh, second booster, uh, Delta Try, nothing too crazy there. Uh, Kwakimaru Sandman, uh, Watt Woodpecker, <laughs> uh, but uh, nothing too crazy there. We get another fountain in the sky, some more agony, a Watt Fox, but nothing too crazy there. And in the last pack, can we get anything in the clues? We get an ultimate rare Blackwing Breeze the Zephyr. I, I think, I think in the grand scheme of things in the universe, this 
could have been a lot worse. I, I think we, I think we take this, I think we take this and we uh, uh, add add some stuff to it, uh, add, add it to our decks and, and hopefully, um, hopefully perform well this time around. Anyway, I will see you all in deck building. Oh man, got so many battery man cards and just no way to facilitate them. That's kind of a bummer, to be perfectly frank. Guard mines, it's fun. All right, last pack, last pack magic. Can we get a herald? Uh, no, hold on, nothing. All right, well, that's what we got to work with. Some Gen X stuff, some uh, uh, Chaos Trap. That's, is, did I pull more than one Chaos Trap hole? Did I literally just get one? Anyway, uh, there we go. That's our pack opening. Yay! Let's get into some decks. Yee. Welcome back to my vibe of the table. And today we are just kind of keeping it easy. We're keeping it smooth. We're running back the reptilians because I firmly believe that we are overdue, underdue. We can win. We can win with this deck. I, I am I am wholeheartedly confident we can win with this strategy. Now, are we going to win it this one? Hopefully, that's the plan. Are we going to win the rotation? Hopefully, that's the plan. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick card by card because not a lot of things have changed in this deck uh, other than a few additions and changes based on the things that I did not know were, you know, part of this part that could be good like what Isaac was doing and with some of the cards he picked unlike him I am still not opting for the frogs because I believe that they while they have a nice control element they lack the ability to put up put out for lethal sure you can use them as tribute fodder for big guys but those big guys don't have protection or good abilities on an open board state if you're flipping up flip flop frog so i'm keeping it very much kind of in archetype with the reptilians because i feel like ha being able to just consistently know what i'm going for every time is better than having to rely on a mix of frogs so starting off this quick card by card we got the three copies of gale no it's you know very good nothing new there we have our three copies of Gravekeeper's Descendants. Remember from my introduction of my card buy, I don't remember if Isaac did it in his, uh, going over the set, um, but this card was eroded, so it, each singular copy of Gravekeeper's Descendant is a removal spell. 3 Shellion, very good at redirecting attacks, way better, like I included the card blocker in my last list. Oshelion does what card blocker does but better and it gives me advantage uh, when it you know lets me search any of some of my reptilians like Gardena. So just 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 cut I cut I cut the card guard and just straight put in Oshelion. Um, I really wanted to make card guard to funny. Uh, but it is it is just absolutely the worst card. It never comes up. Why was it a secret rare? Three Reptilian Gardena because being I have a few more cards that I would like to search now with it. Uh, this being the Vasky that I picked up. Uh, so having multiple copies of this is going to be useful, along with the other another addition to the deck, Inverse Universe. Uh, with having bigger defense guys, um, this was one of the things that I I felt I was also lacking is that. Isaac's frogs could get big, but specifically with this card, um, I just happen to have the trap stun, so may, you know that might have been an issue. Uh, so I'm just going to have this uh, because it's also better to have my own inverse universe in case he's still on inverse universe because half or nothing still makes the attack st still leaves say a dupe frog with a thousand attack, which is way more than the you know, which is less than 2,000, but still more than the zero it had initially. Three Medusa to be a nice tribute summon, reduce monsters attacks to zero. Three Naga, can't be destroyed by battle, reduce the monsters attacks to zero. The one Visky as kind of the secondary boss monster. Three Reptilian Viper is our tuner to also tune and take control of opponent's monsters. And then two Snowman Eater to take care of face up monsters. One, one, one for one to get our Naga. Uh, it's a, it's a, you know, probably the best target we've had so far. Three Reptilian Poison. This actually, I figured Reptilian Poison is, came up enough times that, that way I'd be able to, like, do more stuff with it. If I have two copies of this and a Vasky in hand, I basically get a, 
these two cards make a free Vasky. And it also helps me deal with, um, like, dupe frogs and lets me see what monsters Isaac has face down. Because it could be like, like, I don't want to just accidentally hit a uh, garden up and give him, like, his win condition or something. So being able to check out, uh, basically, stop defense is meta again. Two reptilian rage to make our big boys beefier. One reptilian spawn to hopefully, you know, get some, like, you know, token generation for tribute summons. Two changing destiny. This card is absolutely insane. Busted. Uh, should be banned. Uh, fiendish chain. Absolutely busted. Never came up, but absolutely busted nonetheless. As well as the two inverse universe. Three trap stun because this was the MVP of the last episode. And two widespread dud because I need to get rid of things on the field. In the extra, we just have our synchros only being able to summon a few of them. Like Dark Strike Fighter, Reptilian Hydra, and sometimes Armored Master and Armed Wing. Chaos King Archfiend is in here because we run Trap Eater, a Fiend Tuner, in the side deck. Speaking of the side deck, we've got the Gundari. Very nice card. Um, I only pulled one of it. I think one's fine. Uh, don't want to see multiple of it, so it's like an, I think I'm just gonna copy this from straight from Isaac as a neat little tech. Uh, the third, changing destiny, two half or nothing. Third, inverse universe, prideful roar. Third, widespread dud. Three, chaos trap hole. Consecrated light is a light monster. All the black wings are dark monsters. All the synchros in the current synchro pool are dark monsters. Um, this card just hits everything, even reptilians. This card just hits everything light and dark. And ideally, this is going to be uh, probably the next problematic uh, tempo card in our format, aside from, I think, changing destinies exactly. So, uh, yeah, this is going in if Isaac's playing anything of any of those attributes. If he's playing frog, he just doesn't want to have fun anymore now, does he? But that's okay because I'm also side decking for frogs with crevice into the different dimension. Declare an attribute, select a total of two monsters with an attribute in the graveyards, remove them from play. Basically with this card, if I see he's on frogs, side it in, call water, and get rid of all of his materials that he could use for a Ronin Totem, or get rid of those Ronin Totems exactly. And that's the deck. I really think it's it's very competent and it's kind of coming together. Like this is, I, I I'm I'm I like, it's it's one of these. It's like a deck. Like it's it's bad, but it's like good. But it's bad. It's fun playing with these decks. Not gonna lie. This one in Blackwing, it, they have been like they're the closest to modern Yu-Gi-Oh that I've gotten. I think, and it just like it clicks in my brain that I it, it's like. I was just like, all right, uh, you know, doing doing these things and doing, you know, the the combos or whatever. I don't know. I'm I'm just really enjoying uh, this this particular format. Yeah, and it also might have something to do with the fact that Giga Plant Loop left. Uh, so you know, <laughs> you know, God, what is he gonna shut up about Giga Plant? Never. I am scarred for life. That's why I'm trying to vibe it out. My therapist says that is not healthy. But anyway, I'm now going to pass you on over to Isaac so he can show you his deck. And I will see you all in the duel room. And just when you thought you saw it all, you're coming back into my duel room. And you're seeing Frog, Narc, Black, Wing, Dragon, Turbo. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I love it. Um... Uh, this is probably not going to be very good as it is very inconsistent to say the least, but I'll run you through the cards and show you a little bit about what they do. First we got three Gale, of course we got three Gale. We got enough frog stuff to actually make a frog deck, can you believe it? We got um, three Dupe Frog here, two Fishborg Blaster, two Flip Flop, two Ronin Toten, and then three Swap Frog. Honestly, I'm not really sure about the ratios to these, um, but that's what I got in here for now. As for our tribute summonables, we got Fortune Lady Earth as just a big body, uh, Reptilian Medusa that can beat over literally anything due to its effect, and then two Summon Reactor SK. So we have five tribute summonable monsters here. This one's interesting because it burns Cody a little bit, which I think is actually going to be important due to Chaos Trap Hole being in the format and us burning ourselves with a bunch of cards as well. 
So if we could get a little extra burn damage off on Cody, that could be pretty interesting. It could disincentivize him from summoning monsters. It's a little small at only being 2k, but that's still nothing to scoff at, you know? Anyway, we still have one Gundari in here as a tech option, three Pandaborg. I do think Cody had the right idea having the Pandaborgs in his deck, but it works a little ni nice in here with a uh, Swap Frog synergy, as you can discard a Water Monster to special summon the Swap Frog. We have one Shining Black Sea in here as, uh, to disincentivize Synchro summoning, two Snowman Eater, uh, one Trap Eater, uh, let me tell guys tell you, I, I only pulled one Trap Eater. It's a common. I don't know why I only have one of it. I also only pulled one Trap Stun. Anyway, I was playing with it more in previous games, but it, they never made a difference. I don't think I drew this card a single time in the entire um, time I've been playing it. Anyway, we do have Intercept Wave uh, as uh, also more Synchro negation-ish kind of deal. One for one to snatch up either our Fishborg Blaster or our Shiny Black Sea. Uh, synchro Control to control Synchros. Two Changing Destiny. I put them in here actually in favor of the half or nothing. I think being able to stop somebody from attacking forever is extremely valuable and it really helps allows you to set up. So uh, I'm kind of going with this card. Hopefully it pans out. Two Fetus Chain, which I you saw me buy because it's so good. Two Inverse Universe because we still got guys with big booties. Uh, I mean, Dupe Frog, Ronin Toad, and Snowman Eater. That's enough to play a couple in Inverse Universes, you know? And then lastly, two Widespread Dud. My god, th this was... It, this card put in so much work last game. It did so much. Uh, I got the third one of the side deck here, as you can see. x is the same other than the two black winged dragons that we got here. That way, in case Cody trap holes one, we still have the option to go into the second. In our side deck, we're keeping the Emperor Sems in case we want to go back on to this more inverse universe strategy. Uh, depending on what he's playing, we got the more the other frog cards just to round out play sets in case we want to swap out that kind of stuff. Max Warrior put in a lot of work last episode, but with our tribute summons, I don't think it would put in quite in as much. But you know, it's still worth checking out. Hive 1 Silver Winged in here actually equip to a level 8 or higher dragon type synchro monster, the aforementioned uh, Black Winged Dragon. Twice per turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle. If it would be destroyed by a card effect, you can destroy this card instead. It's a way to keep this guy out on the field. It's very easy. Uh, I think it's really funny. I'm not sure if it's going to be good, but it's going to be funny. Uh, to a pointer, this has not made a showing yet. I feel like games are way too slow for this card to be useful. Uh, the two half or nothing, because we do want to use it. The one in first universe and the third right spread dud. Uh, this is the deck, and it's going to be crazy. I'm excited to see how it plays out. Um, Cody is probably on something weird as well. I don't think he's playing the exact same reptilian deck as last time. I wouldn't doubt if he goes straight back to Black Wings. If he does, then that's going to be kind of rough. Or maybe he wants a freaking frog narc strategy as well. In which case, that'd be hilarious. I'm down to have a mirror match in that case. Anyway, that's enough of our stupid, imbecile rambling, and it's time to do. Open source broadcasting software is far superior than whatever it is that you are currently using. Uh, this is not an ad. I just feel that way. Wink. Clap. I think Hypercam 2 is probably the best screen capture uh, program that has ever existed, you know? I mean, the proliferation right. of online video content hasn't uh, exploded with the creation of of, of such softwares. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think we should. I think we should revert back to just recording it through like a our phones or something. <laughs> recording the screen the, through our phones. Yeah, I feel like it would give the most like, you know, genuine user experience. Like, exactly. How, how are they? How are they supposed to know what both of us look like in 144p <laughs> if we're not using our Nokia's to record and take uh, 40 by 40 pixel. <laughs> 
images and sending them through the text message. <laughs> exactly. And how are they going to read the cards when they aren't blocked out by a huge glare of the light coming out on, onto the screen? Um, you know, like there, there's just so much that gets lost in translation if you don't just know. straight up record with your phone. It's easy. How am I supposed? How am I supposed to say that that's real when that could be have been digitally altered? Unlike the the uh, sanctity of of film. Exactly, man. I mean, when there was that leak of Iggy from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure appearing in Pokemon Sword and Shield, I literally pooped my pants. I need to stop drinking <laughs> coffee right before we start recording. <laughs> Shit makes me jittery. I'm gonna pick my RPS. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I I got restless leg syndrome here. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, damn it. Man, you almost got me with that one. Yeah, I was just doing the, the, <laughs> the, the trick trick me up. Yep. Now yeah, we're both playing 41 card decks. That's hey. fun. Yeah. That's, um, that's new. <laughs> you know what else is fun? Ooh, what? Um, uh, no, set oh. one past. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty, yeah, good. pretty good. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to pitch this. Uh, where is it at? Ronin Toten to special Ooh. summon a Swap Frog. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's right. Oh, I'll go oh, ahead no. and send a level two or lower water aqua uh, to my graveyard and I'll be pitching or sending dupe. Let's see, water aqua monster. Yep, that'd be dupe. Dupe, dupe, dupe. Doop. Yeah, now you can. Now you can. Uh, so you, so you bin, you bin a card, and then you can yep. uh, add it back to your hand, and then you can normal summon another frog, and then you can maybe special summon Ronin and Tonin. You know, all basic competitive frog plays. I'm you're, sorry, you're, you're, this you're is pulling literally, right out of the playbook. This is literally my first time playing frog, so please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here, I'll coach you. I'll help you okay, out. Okay, thank you, thank I've, you. Uh, I've seen, I've basic, seen frogs basic enough. Frog, yeah, basic frog plays. I would appreciate the small bit of coaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I I did not do my research in the ten minutes between my it deck took, profile took and, <laughs> and our rec start of recording. <laughs> Yeah. So generally, things that you put, uh, at least at this stage of the game in Frogs, yeah. you want to be able to return Swap Frog to your hand for later use. Normal summon a dupe frog, or maybe even set it as if you can, and, uh, you know, uh, or, you know, have Ronin Tonin, or, you know, do like a tribute summon or something. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So um, I have that out. I have Ronin Tonin in for next time. I guess uh, Dupe Frog doesn't get the effect because it has to be sent from field to the graveyard, which is fine. Uh, yeah. But Ronin Tonin is in there for future use. So I'll return Swap Frog to hand. I'll, uh, I have even used my normal sum in this turn. So oh. I'll, I'll uh, set a card. I'll set one, two three cards and pass my turn and that's right you did you did special summon yeah you did yep. special summon the uh the swap so you did have a uh you did have a normal plus your extra frog normal for that turn it's true it's true all right we'll go stand by main here all right let's but well, let's i guess we'll go ahead and uh normal summon ocellion oh okay sure all right, we're going to uh, equip Ocellion with a Reptilian Rage. Ooh, okay. That's that's crazy. So he has uh, how much attack does Ocellion have? Uh, he has twenty-two. Twenty-two. That's crazy. Okay. All right, we'll go to battle. All right, I'm. Uh, hold on. There's one okay. thing I'm not sure about. I got, I got to look up. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. All right. Okay. I'll, all, all right. right. Okay. All right. I okay. will attack. All right. That is a Blackwing Gale. Um, Ew. Damage step. Damage step. Inverse universe. Huh. 
Um, Interesting. What I was looking up was trying to see if Reptilian Rage uh, would... If the attack would apply to uh, the new attack, which it doesn't. So, now you your guy has 2,200 billion defense and 800 <laughs> attack. And my guy has 1,300 defense, so... Ah, interesting. All right, so what was that, 500? Mm-hmm. Okay. I see, I see what you're trying to do there. All right, I'll just pass. All right, I'll draw standby main. Go ahead and normal summon swap. And swap's good. I will go ahead and bin a dupe frog in there. Dupe? Frog. Frog. Battle. I'll attack, Battle. attack into Shalion for 200 damage. Nice 200. All right, yeah. I'll activate yep. Shalion's effect. Yep. Go and get your search. All right, we're going to grab... Grab the Viper. Viper, all right. Sounds good. Um, So I'll go to main two. Kind of like the idea of returning Gale to hand. So let's do that. Um, reset Gale and all that. Uh, with that, I will pass my turn. Actually, uh, wait, I'm going to set one card and then pass turn. Okay, go ahead. All right. Stand by main. Yes, yes. I'm going to get another Oshelion. <laughs> another Oshelion. Uh, sure. All right, we're going to go battle. Yep. I would like to attack the frog. I'll let you attack the frog with Oshalion. That's fine. Woohoo! I'll take the 400. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll pass. All right. I'll draw standby main. Let's just normal summon the Gale, uh, Gale effect. Hit the Oshalion. Yeah. I'll, I'll just get these Oshalions out of rotation, hopefully. It was uh, 600. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Oshelion. I don't know, Gardna, I guess, this time? Gardna? All right, Gardna's pretty good. Got a main two, and I guess that'll be it for me. I'll pass. All right, let's see what we got going here. Stand mm -hmm. by main. Yep. Uh, I don't like... I don't like this. So... I will set one, set two, and pass. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Stand by me. Normal summon a panda Borg. Panda. I imagine those are, either of those are Snowman Eater or Naga, and I don't want to attack into either of them. Because <laughs> that'd be rough. I'm going to pass here. It would be a little rough. All right, stand by main. Yep. I'm going to activate Trap Stun. That's fair. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, traps done good. Yep, yep. All right, I'm going to flip summon a naga. Yep. We will go battle. Mm-hmm. I will naga into the gale. Sure. I'll take thirteen. Yep. I'll go to main two. Mm-hmm. Normal summon the Viper. Okay. Viper, I'll take the Gale. Yep. Gale is at zero, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. All right, I'm going to Gale effect on the Panda Borg. Okay. Check, check it something here. Mm -hmm. Viewing extra Ooh. deck. Yeah, yeah. Seeing how much you yeah, can sync yeah, with yeah, the yeah. monster you got flipped face yeah, down yeah. there. Yeah. All right. I'm going to flip up. Uh, I'm going to flip up a Gardna. Yep. I'm going to sink them off. Pretty good. Pretty good. For the armor master. Armor master. Gotcha. And then pass the turn. All right. That's a pretty good turn, I would say. <laughs> pretty solid. 
Stand by yeah. main. I think I'm just gonna go to battle. I want to get rid of your tuner, at least. All right. To start. Viper. Viper goes bye bye. Uh, eight fifty. Yep. That would be it. Eight fifty. Eight fifty is the one. I mean, two. Uh, I'm just gonna set another card, and I'll pass my turn. All right. Stand by main. I'm gonna go to battle. Sure. I'm gonna Naga into the Panda Borg. Naga into Panda Borg thinking. Yeah, yeah, okay, I think that's fine. Okay. I'll take 850. It'll be set to zero now. Yep. Alright, we'll go main <laughs> two. S set a card. And tribute Panda Borg and Naga. Oh. Oh, Special you got the Vos back. you bought you got the Vosky in the deck. Oh, let me hold on, let me think for a second here. <laughs> oh, um <laughs> yeah, I'm going to chaos trap hold that Vosky. Easy. Uh and that'll pass my turn. All right, sounds good. I'll draw a standby main. Well, I, I have a lot of things in the deck. I'm going to banish a frog and special Ronin. Get a Ronin Thonin. Yeah, let's at least get some dude on here. Jeez. And then I will pass my turn. All right, let's draw. Stand yeah. by main. A special summon Gale. Aww. I will... I won't do anything to that. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I'm going to fiendish chain your gale. Uh, that's fine. Okay. All right. Special summon a second gale. What the hell? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, sure. <laughs> All right. Gale effect. Yeah. Get that Rotatona down to a thousand defense a thousand. and 50 attack. Yep. All right, uh, we'll go battle. Yep. All right, Gale into Tonin. That's fine. Perfect. Uh, all right, show me changing destiny. Uh, well, yep, got to. Yeah, fine. Yeah. How much? Uh, you want to gain or burn i'm i'm gonna burn you okay so that's 1250 yeah okay all right well, main two set one pass go ahead all right i'll draw stand by me let's gale. gale gale um i'll gale effect onto your gale the one that's not being dischained exactly yes okay all right, so on resolution, I'm going to flip up widespread dud, target the halved gale in your gale. Okay. <laughs> That's fun. That's a lot of fun. All right, well, it's bound to happen eventually. I, I'm just going to freaking crash. Why not? All right, well, yeah, so yeah. I'll, I'll take a little bit of damage here from yeah. 13. Uh, what is... What, oh God, what is this math again? It's like <laughs> 950 or something? No, it's not 950. It's uh, 650. Okay. It's either that or next turn you gale my gale and then and I take the damage <laughs> or we crash or something. So yeah, I, I we, prefer we, just we, get the damage off on you just, for, <laughs> you know, just to be safe. <laughs> yeah, just to be safe. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Um, and so after that, I'm just going to pass. All right. Let's draw. Stand by me. I love having a dead card in my hand. Yeah. I'm going to tribute Gale. Yeah. For Medusa. Medusa is fine. All right, we'll go battle. Yeah. All right, hit in for 22. Changing destiny. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I will... <sighs> I'll burn you for the 11. All right, figured. All right, I'll pass. All right, I'll draw. Stand by me. Banish the... Dupe. Here comes the toad in. <laughs> hey, toad in. Where's the he banish? Be, There's the banish button. Yeah, okay. He, he be Ronin. Um, and I'm just going to pass there. 
Does it, why does it look like Ronan Tonin's in like a bathhouse? That's a good question. Like, is that like, is he like a spirit or is it he's in a bathhouse? Like, is he defending? Is he defending the? defending the bathhouse like you 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 shall not you shall not take a peep at what is uh, <laughs> honka badonkin behind this wooden wooden wall he would be the guy that stands guard outside of women's bathrooms and like yeah. <laughs> gets flustered when they walk in and then ju <laughs> just you know, tells everybody else to move on <laughs> yeah. move move on step aside nothing to see yeah. here <laughs> Yeah, but I'll just set one pass here. All right, all right. Stand by main. It's really rough when you only have defense position monsters. It really, know. it really is. Um, pass. <laughs> all right, let's see. What else we got here? Stand by yep, main. Yep, yep. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm kind of glad I got this now. All right, this, this is good. This is good. All right, I'm gonna normal summon Gravekeeper's Descendant. Oh, you did. Okay, sure. All right, let's go to battle. Yep. All right, I want to see what this is. All right, it's just another Ronin Toad in. All right, it, it is another Ronin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yay! All more right. gameplay, interactive All gameplay. Right. <laughs> we'll go to we'll go to Ming Two. Um, and did you know that this effect was eroded? Oh well. Could it tribute itself before? It can. Oh. Pop that, pop that face down. Oh, I didn't know that. Do I want to chain it? I don't think I do want to chain it. It is... It uh, is Inverse <laughs> universe, yeah. <laughs> ah, very interesting. Very interesting. All right, I'll go ahead and pass. All right, I'll draw a standby main. Oh, my freaking God. <laughs> The third Ronin Tonin. Oh my god. Alright, we'll uh we'll go from there. Alright, I'll draw standby main. Oh my jeebus. It's either the third Ronin or the second or the third dupe. Let's just uh normal a swap frog. Ooh. Let's uh dump. I'm gonna take a take dump. A big fat frog dump. I'm taking big fat frog dump. I'll dump a dupe. You think these frogs are the like normal dupe. sized frogs or are they like giant frogs? That's a good question. I don't know. Um, I'll go ahead and bounce. Do I want to do that? No. Okay. What I want to do. Let's have let's start do? having some fun here. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this or not, but let's. I'm gonna make some plays. Oh, actually, oh. actually first, uh -huh. before I make plays, I'm gonna activate uh -huh. one for one pitching, uh, my trap eater. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. To special summon a level one monster. I'll go ahead and special summon shiny black sea. I'll I'll um I'll flip up frog. Flip. Flop frog. I'll flip up flip flop frog. I have th four monsters I can bounce, but you only have three, so I'll just bounce your three monsters. Oh my god. Back to hand. Like, all right. So if that's all right. And add extra deck hmm. into hand. Yep. I. Oh, wait, no, I could only bounce two monsters to your hand. I have. Oh, already... I messed up. Re you messed up? Remove game state. Go back, go back. What, go back, go back? What What I would have done, it, it would have been similar, but you take less damage. I would have put um, Armor Master and the set back. Okay, Armor Master and the set can go. And then I would have uh, attacked in with Swap onto Medusa. Swap into Medusa? Yeah. All right, I will Changing Destinies. Okay, in that case... Um, do I want to burn or gain? That's the question here. I think I want to burn. I'll burn. All right. Burn, baby, burn. So for 11. You burn for 11. That's an extra, extra 1,000, dude. Excuse me. Uh, Half of Medusa, uh, right? Uh, no. Oh, oh, wait, no. Oh, wait. 
Wait, no, I, half, I, a, half, a, half I, a swap. You take 500. I, bur I burned the whole of frog. There you go, there you go. <laughs> I burned the whole <laughs> swap frog. Yeah, you don't have to burn all of swap frog. Yeah, just a little bit of swap frog. Okay, okay. After that, I would have uh, set flip flop, flip flop, and then put swap back into my hand. Okay. If that that probably adjusts your um, uh, game my state play, a bit, but yeah, go ahead. my my play is still the same. So we'll normal summon Gale. Okay, okay. And we'll go battle. Mm-hmm. And we'll head into the uh, into the frog. All right. In that case, I'll put back. Um, which one do I want to put back? Medusa or World Gale? I should probably put back Gale because Medusa isn't a threat. All right, come back to hand, my friend. Yep. Uh, and that'll do it. That's the turn. Cool, cool. I'll draw. Stand by main. Um. All right. Normal swap. Okay. I don't think I need to pitch anything else here, so I'm not going to pitch anything else. <laughs> I'm going to go to battle, see if I can attack into Medusa. This is fine. All right. I'll go to main two. I'll put swap back to hand and uh, set a card and pass. All right, we'll draw. Stand by main. Yeah. I'll set one set two and pat okay i'll draw stand by main uh this is not going to be super interactive for a little bit here unfortunately yeah, i'm gonna be <laughs> set frogs pass <laughs> it really it really is um so yeah i'm just gonna set and pass i got I, my flip-flop is no more stand by main yeah tillion sp Spawn. Oh, uh, so you're walling up, or oh, and or trying yeah. to yeah yeah. All right, we're, we're gonna banish the Medusa. Get a couple snakes. Sure. A couple reptiles. Some reptilian snakes. Another yeah. Vasky. Oh, that would be pretty good. <laughs> um, one more right. Vasky. All right, I'm gonna flip summon, uh, Gardna. Oh, okay. I'm going to activate Reptilian Poison. I want to change this face down to face up. Oh, okay. So, um... That'll be a Snowman Eater. Uh, Set. When this card you control is destroyed, so you get the Gardena Search, even if... Okay, in that case, um... I'm going to pop one of your tokens all right token go bye bye yeah oh wait you have the freaking gale in hand you could normal summon gale make freaking black wing armor crappy dude again because that's black back wing Bla black wing armor crappy dude <laughs> uh i want i man i wanted to pop the gardener <laughs> Oh damn! Uh, it. That's all. It's all good. I thought it. I thought it through. I click. Yeah. I you click. You click. Man, I thought I realized that. God damn it. <laughs> no. You click. I declare Gale on a frog. I guess. Yep. Yeah. It would have also. Like, it would have. Gale was probably coming out anyway. Well, I just right, wouldn't make but... a, Yeah, wouldn't make a big dude. Uh, but big dude, big dude is now available. Uh, ooh. Oh, you got another dude ready? What? Hold on. Let me. Let me. Let me. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on oh, hold on, you can on, make the level on. eight guy. Oh, oh I know. It's a single seven guy. One, two, three, four. Hey. Six, seven, seven. Oh, no, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Silver wind. Yep. All right. He's out. All right. Uh, I do want to use this effect. I want to hit uh, up to two face-up monsters with defense lower. Mm -hmm. All right, so we will hit uh, one Tonin. Yeah. And then uh, shiny Black Sea. Okay, that's fair. And then I will pass. All right. 
Because I cannot standard. conduct my battle phase this turn. That is very, very true. Why are we so bad Man, at Yu-Gi-Oh? We are so bad at Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. Okay. <laughs> this is absolutely stupid. Um, I'm going to normal swap frog. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. I won't pitch. I know, but more frog. I'm going to put Ronin Toad into attack. What is happening here? This is so stupid, dude. I'm going to go to... Um... Battle. Okay. Mm Attack Ronin Toad into... Silver Wind. <laughs> um... On attack declaration. Yeah. I'm going to widespread dud. Mm hmm. Target Tonin and Snowman Eater. Tonin and Snowman Eater. Okay. Now that I know that that's your widespread dud, I, I will, uh, in a new chain, I guess, do widespread dud on Tonin and Silverwind. Oh. Okay, I see, I see. Fair enough. So then, uh, we good to go to damage. We are good to go to damage. Alright, you'll take a hefty 2750. I will take 2750. That... That much is sure. Tonin will die, and then all of our guys will die. Yep. But then I'll be able to get in for an extra thousand here. That's fine. I was expecting that to be inverse universe. Not quite. Um, so... I'll declare Swap Frog, put him to hand. Uh-huh. I will banish a dupe to get out a Ronin Toten. And then I'm also going to banish a swap to get out um, the second Ronin Tonin. I'm getting those Tonins. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, with that, um, I'm going to pass my turn. All right. Stand by main. I think we just set to pass. Go ahead. Gotcha. Draw st stand by main. Yeah, if that, if that, I, I can't normal summon swap and attack into that. <laughs> <laughs> I was debating, but that is, uh, that is not the play. That is risky biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you haven't, you haven't had any snowman eater, and you have still, uh, Probably one gardener in your deck, so um, I, I I can't. <laughs> I'm just can't, gonna can't set afford pass. It. Yeah, yeah, I can't afford it. All right, we'll go stand by main. Yeah. Mm. <sighs> no, I can't do that. Yeah. We'll <laughs> All right, stand by main. Deck out. Deck out. Deck, deck out, out, deck, deck out, out, deck out, deck out, deck out. Okay, I, don't, I just don't want to clog up my place with a bunch of dudes, so I, I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> it's a bunch of frogs that you don't want to yeah. like. <laughs> right. uh, still kind of rough. It is still kind of rough. All right, I'll just pass here. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. I'll set, and I'll pass. All right, fun. Fun, 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 fun! Set, set, pass. More setting, more passing. I like more it. More setting, more passing. I like it a lot. All right. More setting, more passing. <laughs> more setting, more setting, more passing. Standbys, main phases. Yep, more yep. setting, more passing. Um. Yeah, more setting, more setting, more passing. Go ahead. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Setting, passing. <laughs> setting, setting, passing. Standbys, yeah. main phases. Yeah. Um, uh, setting and passing. All right. 
Setting and passing. It is. Setting and passing. No more setting, no more passing. No more setting, no more passing. All we're right, we're just living li- live in, live in large as is. Mm-hmm. All right, main phase. Yep. Activate trap stun. Yep. All right. Trap stun good? Yep. All right, flip summon viper. Yep. Flip summon... Uh... Uh... The flip, 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 Naga, Naga, flip, Gardner. Okay. Yep. Synchro Shokan. Yep. We're both waiting for it. We're both waiting for it. All right. Speed run. Speed run. Game two. Speed run. Speed run. Speed run round. Speed. Speed. Speed, uh, speed's the name, Sonic's the game. It's true. Uh, <laughs> uh, set one, set two, and pass. Go ahead. Such a good speedy round. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, we no. got Castlevania to watch after this. Come on. It's we're true. on a, we're on a time panda. crunch. <laughs> watch that Castlevania. Normal summon panda attack in. No. <laughs> Uh, main two. <laughs> Set pass. Set pass. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like normal, normal sub panda attack in. No. No. Of course not. No. All right. Uh, main phase. Normal summon viper. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, and then we'll just casually uh go and uh. Mm, uh, mm, 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 uh, uh-huh. I see, I see, I see the line. Uh, synchro we'll just go... uh, two. Yeah, we'll synchro, we'll synchro, uh, we'll synchro these off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get uh, get a Hydra here. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then from there we will go to the battle. Yep. Hit in for twenty one. I'll take twenty one. End phase, our Naga will go to attack, and the turn is yours. I'll draw, stand by main. Um, I'm going to normal summon Gale. Ah. Uh, uh, the Gale effect. That's fine. All right, all right. At least something. Um, battle. Wait, before I go to battle. Yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's pitch this dupe frog to special... Oh, Our no. swap. No. Been a card. No. I don't have to run and put it in rotation yet, though, but. Stop. Let's go ahead and bid in the other dupe. Stop it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. This, um, is, a, this is a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. I'll go to this battle. A... Uh huh. Uh, Gale into Hydra. That is 250. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, swap into Naga. Right. And then now your frog is zero, but it's not going to matter because it's going <laughs> back in your hand. Literally not going to matter. Two hand. Um, and then I can normal summon another frog from my hand. That's pretty good. So I'll normal my flip frop. That's pretty good. To clear the effect, set it. That, that's really good. And uh, we will pass turn. That's that's pretty good. That's some. That's that's, that's pretty good. Um, <laughs> all right, so we will set a card. Mm-hmm. What does this get me? This doesn't get me a whole lot. I'm gonna try to normal summon a Gale. Uh, normal summoning Gale is fine. All right, I'm gonna Gale effect on Gale. Gale on Gale violence. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, one of these days we'll get this uh, figured out. <laughs> um, maybe through some kind of process, whereby we get together and decide that this is all this is wrong. But yeah, then like one this... guy's gonna oppose <laughs> it, and we're gonna like, come on, Frank. <laughs> I like how you just named the guy Frank out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the how, how he's, he's always at, at my house trying. He's, he's always at my house parties, and he's like, "How's it going, dude? You staying away from the alcohol?" No. <laughs> Why would you be uh, staying away from alcohol at a house party? <laughs> that's silly. That's what I, I mean, he's straight edge, Frank. man. 
Yeah, he's straight edge. That's well, he can, what he, he, does. Can, he can be straight edge. Doesn't mean you gotta make everybody else straight edge. <laughs> I know. Alright, uh, we're gonna activate Reptilian Spawn. Spawn, okay. We'll banish the Hydra here. Yep. Get a couple... Get a couple boys. Tokens. Alright, then we'll go ahead and... Uh, synchro all of these off. Yep, yep. And we'll to get big, big boy, big daddy. Yeah, big daddy, daddy. arm worm. <laughs> sure. All right, we'll go to the battle phase. Yep. All right, and then we will hit into the flip flop frog. Flip, flop. <laughs> All right. So what is that? That's. Uh, uh, 2600 damage. Yeah, 26, including that extra 5. Yeah. Yep. Alright, that'll pass there. Alright, I'll draw. Let's go to standby main. Uh, what, what do I want to do here is the question. Yeah, Gale's not as oppressive now that he's halved. <laughs> it feels pretty good. Yeah, but it's kind of nice having an empty board state to do whatever I, the hell I want. It's almost still, empty. You still yeah, have one card, it's yeah, true. I got, I got one card. And a plethora of possibilities. That's true. <laughs> I will uh, pitch Fishboard Blaster to special summon my Swap Frog. Huh, okay. I'll normal Gondari. Oh my god, he's back. He's back, baby. And my poor Gale is halved. Yeah. Which means I'm probably going to want to sink some of these dudes off. So I have three... Seven. Make a seven? You can, can make, make a nine. A, I can make a seven. Who has who we don't have who nines. Has a, who has a nine? Why would we have nines? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, let's sync these two off to make a uh armor master. Ooh, yeah. Battle attack in with armor master. Okay, armor master's good. Swap frog. Frog is good. Uh Swap frog effect to bounce armor master. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'd be, yeah, that's, yeah. That'd be hilarious. All right, that would have yeah, been, that's been, it. That would have been, that would have, that would have been fine. <laughs> All right, stand by main. Yeah. Uh, set a dude. Set another dude and pass. That's not a dude. <laughs> That's almost the opposite of a dude. That's the opposite of a dude. Normal the swap. I'm going to activate trap stun. Uh, trap stun's fine. Battle armor master into set. All right, this is a uh, Gardna. Gardna. All right, so you can get your search. We're gonna grab. All right, we'll grab Naga. Yeah, figured. All right, and then attack in for a thousand. All right, let's take, take, uh, take frog damage. All right, main two. I'm just gonna set and uh, put frog back to hand. Okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, stand by me. I don't think I wanted to dump or anything, so we're good. Dump frog. <sighs> okay. This is rough. This is really rough. Armor master is pretty good. Yeah. All right. Uh. All right, set pass. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by me. Um, I'm gonna go to battle. I'll just attack in. All right, it is a Gardner. Gardner number get two. Okay. Get the search here. Sure. Uh, let's pull. Let's pull a Medusa out of the deck. Makes sense. Um, I'll set, and I'll pass. All right, I will set pass. Go ahead. Right, I'll draw. Stand by me. I think I want to do this regardless. I'm gonna. Flip summon swap frog. Okay. That's right. He was on the field this whole time. <laughs> um. <laughs> you know what? Let, let's go ahead. I. It's just when this card is summoned. So yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and dump another frog here. Um. I have another dupe. I do have another dupe. To grave dupe goes. Dupe. Um. Then I will. Pitch this fiendish chain to get out this uh, 
Fishboard Blaster. Okay. I will tribute Fishboard Blaster for a Summon Reactor SK. Huh? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what the heck yep, is yep. this? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Huh. I mean, it's interesting. I don't know if it's yeah. good. I'll go to battle. I'll, uh... Let's, let's attack. Swap into there. All right, so you will take the thousand. I'll take the thousand. Yeah. Why would I take the thousand? Oh, this is so, uh, the frog's a thousand. No, wait. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what? What I, the yeah. hell? <laughs> yeah. No, I thought I'm. I'm stupid. Don't mind me. All right. No, don't listen to things I say. In that case, I'll go to main two. Uh. Let's bounce this swap back to hand. And I'll pass. Alright, this is fine. Yep, you got to knock into two things, but go ahead. Alright, first thing is we're going to flip up a trap stun. Yep, figured. Alright, next thing is we're going to tribute into a Medusa. Alright, take 800 points of damage. That's, that is fine. Yep. All right, we will, uh, we will Medusa pitch Oshelion, subtract to the attack of the Armor Master. Okie dokie. Uh, we will go to battle. Mm-hmm. Hit into the Strike Fighter. Uh, I will negate that attack. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Summon Reactor is pretty, uh, pretty nifty. So bad though. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll pass here. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. Okay, I think right now I'm going to inverse universe. Inverse universe. Um, I'm gonna activate uh, trap stun. Okay. And Thank I'm you. also going to activate uh, crevice into the different dimension called water. To play one attribute, select so total two monsters from the attribute from the graveyards, remove them from play. Okay, I see what you're doing. I'm okay. gonna remove, uh, I'm gonna banish, uh, Fishborg and a Dupe Frog. Fishborg and Dupe, that's fine. I will tribute Armor Master for Fortune Lady Earth. What? She's at, uh, she's at six times four. She's at 2,400. Neato. Yep. Uh, go to battle. Why are you playing this? Attack in. <laughs> it's Frognark. Attack directly for 2k. I mean. <laughs> Frognark takes the game. It kind of is. That's weird. <laughs> wow, I do not like that. <laughs> Crusty, but I like it. Oh, got a match on our hands. I Careful, because it's burning at the both ends. Psh. I, I do not know how I feel about this. This is very... Mm. I, I don't know. I... So part of me hmm. is like this is fine and then another part of me is like how have we been allowed to go this long with like I I, I have I have completely yeah right like my, bra <laughs> my brain has shut down at this point like what is going on <laughs> I, I feel you with that one for sure alright but ideally, we will just uh, do that and you're up. Sounds good, sounds good. I really want to see what that face down is, but all your face downs are scary. Like, it's either a 2k defender, or it's Naga, or it's... I haven't even seen Snowman Eater. You must have cut it or something. Um, yeah. No Man Eater. <laughs> no, no Man Eater. <laughs> no Man... 
I, I, I have, I am having anger management uh, training, uh, sensitivity training against <laughs> snowmen eaters. Yeah. They, they absolutely frustrated me in the last episode. Like, I was attacking, <laughs> I was attacking as snowmen. Snowmen. Snow <laughs> snowmen. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, yeah. I, I kind of freaking just constantly big butts and like two snowmans right in, right in front of each other. I'll go to battle, I'll attack in. If it's a Naga, at least a uh, swap gets put back in hand after. It will not. It is. It, it is, is the snowman. It is actually the snowman eater. It is actually the snowman eater. Yep. All right. Well, swap goes to dead. Yeah. Dead now. And there's and there's 900 points of damage. Yeah. There is 900 <laughs> points of damage. You are 100% correct. Uh, <laughs> damn. Okay. Well, that's that. GG. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit on this snowman and. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. I'll set a card. Yeah. Set another card and pass the turn. I'll set a card. I'll set another card. Setting another card. He's a setting cards. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I'll set a couple cards of my own in that case and uh, pass yeah, it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. Stand by main. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's set a card and set a card and pass. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. Come let's on. flip some in Ronin Toten. Ronin Tonin. I would like to inverse universe here. Inverse universe. Any response? No, no, no traps done this time. I probably what you attack my snowman eater. Uh, I can't have that. I'm sorry. All right, I figured. Normal swap. Dump the. Where, where's the dupe at? Dupe man, two grave dupe goes. Where my where my dupes at? I swear, swap frog is glued to my hand. I where think I think I should at? probably keep the swap in hand. With that, I don't want to attack into your 1900 body body. Yeah. But that'd be that'd be kind of rough. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna normal summon a gale. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gale good. Yep, gale's good. All right, All right. gale effect. Gonna half him to 50. <laughs> yeah. That's for 50 damage, you know? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I got a I got a half into that. Mhm. Mm All right, I'm going to flip summon Gardner. Sure. I right, uh I maybe I shouldn't have done that. Um but this is fine cuz we're just going to uh Synchro 7. Sync 7. Uh Sync 7 is it. fine. Yep. Yeah. That is armor. armor master that that guy's scary. He is a master. He is an armed master, it's true. Yeah. All right, we'll go battle. I want to see what this one is. Okay, that one's actually a fishboard blaster. Okay. Okay, I see. All right. All right, we'll go main phase two. Mm hmm And I am going to pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, I'll draw standby main. All right. This guy is definitely going to defense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that. No question about that one. Yep. Yeah, the deaf, deaf, deaf. Let's get out this Gondari. Uh, why do you play this? I'll uh, attack into Armor Master. Anything. Why do you play with this card? They will both go to hand <laughs> for this exact situation. What do you think? Uh, I'll go to main two, and uh, I guess I'll pass here. Why? Why do you? <laughs> why do you hate fun? All right, I'm gonna normal a descendant. Ooh, okay. Yep. All right. Descendant effect. I'm gonna tribute himself, targeting the Ronin. That's fine. And then I'll pass here. <laughs> okay, okay. Draw stand by me. I'll normal swap frog, I guess. Just get him out there. All right. Normal frog is fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'll dump the dupe. Dump and dupe. Dupe is dumped. Dump. Fat dump. Mm, I think I did this out of order, but that's okay. I guess I'll go to battle and just attack into your set. See if it's a Naga or something. It is a Naga it or is a something. Naga. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's definitely good to know. I'll go to main two and uh, 
balance him to hand, I guess. I'll banish a dude for. All right. Uh, so Ronin, Ronin when you ban it, when you banish your dude for activating his oh, yeah, effect, yeah. you got the I'm crevice. I'm gonna activate the crevice. Targeting. I'm gonna banish Ronin and Fishborg. Ronin and Fishborg. Okay. And I'll pass my turn. All right. Let's draw. Stand by main. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is so rough. <laughs> oh, this is rough beans, man. This is rough, man. This is beans that have been been rough. <laughs> All right, we're going to reptilian spawn. Sure, sure. We're going to banish our gardener, get two tokens. Yep. I will normal summon a viper. Sure. Yep. Synchro. All right. Yeah, we're going to synchro one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. Okay. All right, we're going to get Dark Strike Fighter. Sure. All right, we're going to go to battle. Battle's fine. All right, I want to hit in for 26. On attack declaration, I'm going to activate Intercept Wave. What? What? All synchro monsters on field are changed to defense position. Then I'll face up. Uh, synchro monsters go to the extra deck during the end phase. Ah, uh, huh. Yep. Why are you playing all of these bad cards? <laughs> bad cards. They're gay. You. This is like a three for one card here. <laughs> it's awful. It lets still lets me summon it again though if I. If you make it, sure. Yeah, if I make it again. Guess I go to the end phase. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Yep, yep. Alright, go ahead. Alright. I'll draw, I'll go to standby main. I'll Um I'm going to pitch a swap frog to special swap frog. That is fine. I think I'm out of dupes, aren't I? Yeah, I'm out of dupes. So, I, I won't use the effect. Yeah, I think all I want to do here is tribute him off for hmm. the summon reactor. I'll set one and hope you don't have Medusa in hand. Alright. Which I Stand don't doubt by. you do. Interesting. Yep. Um, Alright, I'll set pass. Go ahead. Alright, I'll draw standby main. I'll normal summon... Gundari. Gundari is Ganoke. Ganoke. All right. <laughs> Battle. I'll attack him with Gundari. Okay. We'll take the thousand. Go to main two end phase. He goes back to hand. Pass turn. Easy money. Stand by main. Yep. Uh, we will set a card. And pass the turn. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. Stand by main. I'll I'll uh, I'll normal a gale. Ooh. I'll go to battle and attack in for. Do I want to attack in? I kind of like just having gale on field. I'll attack in. Sure. It's All great. right. You're attacking in. Yep. I kind of don't like the idea of taking more damage. <laughs> Half or nothing. Half or nothing. I'll take the 13. Okay. Uh, Gale goes to zero. Just, yeah, Gale goes yeah. to zero. Uh, with that, let's do it. I'll attack in with uh, re summon reactor. Alright. Interesting. Reactor Lena. will get changed. His destiny shall uh, be changed. Okay, destiny is changed. Uh, I'll burn for a thousand. Alright. Burn. Alright. With that, I'll go to main two. I'm just gonna pass. Alright. Alright, alright. No oh, synchro eights. Not this turn. Not this turn. Kind of struggling here. I'm gonna change him to attack position and make his attack zero. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. Kinda, kinda struggling here. I'll pass. Alright. I'll draw standby main. Okay, so I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sync these guys off now. You have an eight? I do have an eight. It'll be Black Winged Dragon. 
What? Uh, the effect doesn't really matter because the effect only matters is what is if I take effect damage and neither of us are neither, dealing neither, with that. Okay. So he's just a 2800 attack booty. Makes sense. Yep. Uh, and then with that, I'm going to battle phase. I'll attack into Naga. All right, that's fine. All right, on attack declaration, if you have no response. I'm just going to fiendish chain that Naga. Negates effects uh, while it's on the field. I can't attack. Uh, Alright. I I actually will have respond to fiendish chain, though. There you go. Uh, crap. Inverse universe. They're going to inverse universe this. Oh... Okay, so now you're gonna inverse universe, so you only take 16 instead. Yeah. All right, that's fine. I want I want to set this one, and then I'll pass. All right, stay yeah. All right, pass. All right, I'll draw stand by main. Well, if you don't have anything, this will do it. I'll flip summon Gundari. Um. Normal Gale. Battle phase. Sure. Um, I, I can't dark strike fighter yet, unfortunately. Or I mean, like it's not game if I dark strike fighter. I don't think because that's fourteen plus one two. That's eight times four. Is before I go to battle phase, let me calculate. Eight times four is twenty four. Twenty four plus fourteen. Oh, that would be game. So in that case, I will actually just sink off here. Into Dark Strike Fighter. Mm. And if you don't have anything, um, I'll Dark Strike Fighter targeting Blackwing Ar Dragon. Uh, sure. So that'll be 2400, I believe. That'll be 1600. Uh, 1600, my bad. Um, I'll go to battle and attack in because. <laughs> 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 I messed up. I messed up the calculation. Oh, you All right. Up the calculation. <laughs> but pre errata. Uh... Actually, like, yeah, this guy could just free freaking go in and attack. So, <laughs> all right. Oh. Oh. Mm. oh, that was that was game. That was a game. That was a another. Long it was. Grind. That was a long grind of a game. Jeebus. Oh my lord. Was this hour and a half episode or something? Uh, it's yeah. It's 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 like the it's like a finale special. I know, right? So I I got this guy. Uh, as far as my pulls go, I got was this he, guy. Was this like a high rarity card or something? It's a super, yeah. Oh, Intercept wave. A really bad super. <laughs> I got an ultimate rare black winged dragon, and then I also got a ghost rare black winged dragon. <laughs> yeah, generic eights, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not complaining. You can get an eight pretty easy. That's kind of why I was going Frognark with the Gales, specifically to go into um, black winged dragon, because you could make the fives with the summon reactor. Um. So, plan was to frog Narca summon reactor onto field, gale into Blackwing Dragon, have a big ass booty on field. And then I, I tried to try and play cards that prevented you from synchro summoning, like Intercept Wave, um, that guy that sends you, uh, bounces them back to hand, dr drill mole, um, grand moles, synchros only, and then, uh, that's this card, the. Yeah, the synchro control. All right, what 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 what'd you have going on? Uh, just reptilians. Just reptilians, just the, yeah. Yeah, just reptilians. They look like just reptilians, but they're fun. That crevice into um, a different dimension was pretty good because I couldn't fish Borg. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I don't know or what running. behooved me. Um, I was just like it it it, it was it was just this inkling. I'm like. <laughs> This is like, I, I wasn't expecting frogs and <laughs> I was like, but for some reason I'm like, ah, I can just put it in there. 
you know, it works mm -hmm. for most things. Like if he plays frogs, I could throw it in there. Sure, it'll stop the rodentonins. <laughs> it really um, is not a bad card. Like that was a good include for sure. <laughs> yeah, so my side decking's on point. Yeah, 100%. I saw that, I was like, why is he playing this card? Yeah, it's this yeah. deck specifically. <laughs> I didn't think he would, he would think I was playing frogs. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I did not put you on frogs at all. I put you, I put you on uh, your inverted reptilian frog still. Or, where, but oh, I okay. forgot, well, it's like I forgot Ronin Tonin, and then I'm like, ah, oh, Ronin Tonin's not an issue because we don't have monarchs. So there's not like a... <laughs> You know, there's not really any value in it. Normally, you'd be right. I just forced it to work. I, I, I jammed <laughs> it through a funnel, the <laughs> summon reactor in, into this deck. It's like, <laughs> work <Yeah>. for me. <laughs> yeah, you, you literally like taped the fucking <laughs> engine to the side of your bicycle <laughs> and said, go. <laughs> and it, either either it was gonna explode on you. Uh, or it was going to let you win the, your little Tykes Raceway competition <laughs> that you've been, uh, that you, everybody was bullying you about. And you said, well, I have the bigger brain and it's, it's how you do the bicycle and not how, how hard you pedal. And the kids are like, it's a, the, you're supposed to pedal up. That's how you propel a bike is you pedal <laughs> and you say you're the straight a student you fucking idiot and so then then you prove them wrong with a bit of gasoline and uh, uh determination <laughs> uh i have no idea how to respond when you go on tangents like that I <laughs> you know what you do you i appreciate i appreciate the stories they're fun stories yeah, pull, um, pull, you, when you tell a story, you got to pull from life experience. Uh, never going to play reptilians again. They are <laughs> so slow. They are they, slow. They, they, work, they work really well when they play exactly against reptilians. <laughs> but, when they, but when they play against anything with any sort of offensive capabilities, they, they just crack under it the pressure. It becomes hard, yeah. I mean, like, reptilians are basically better Claudians. Hey! I'm just gonna say. Hey! hey. Yeah, I just gotta say, <laughs> it's okay. I, I mean every word of it, every letter. You, you. All right. Okay. All right. You. you <laughs> we. So. Mm. <laughs> oh, I. 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 Uh, uh, I. I, mo I move to make the motion to ban Isaac from any future episodes. Uh, do we have a second? I, I second the motion. <laughs> I heard. I heard. Uh, I heard a second. Uh, I, I, so. I get it. I zack into the motion. <laughs> uh, you made a funny pun there, Cody. That you made intentionally. Uh, I don't know what you're talking. I am. I am the arbiter of this council <laughs> meeting, and that was one of the fellow members of this council. And I'm gonna put it up to the vote now. All in favor, say aye. Nay. Aye. Nay. Nay. <laughs> Nay. <laughs> all opposed, say nay. 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 What? Why are you all? Why are watch you all naying this? <laughs> now watch me nay nay. <laughs> now yeah. watch me whip whip. Now watch me nay. I don't know. I'm I just too like to that. <laughs> I just like to think the council in my brain is naying the vote. They're like, no, no, you you stays on the show. And I'm like, why? D are we against him? Are we trying to beat him? Yeah, but if we ban him, it's not going to be fair. And also, you won't have a show anymore. Well, in that case, you're SOL. You're stuck with me forever. <laughs> and we're stuck with you forever, dear viewers that are still watching this awesome YouTube channel uh, with this amazing show full of enriched content uh, for your brief little ears to Im imagine. I'm not trying to make sense here. I'm, try I'm trying to say goodbye. Uh, this was a long game. I'm sorry. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> goodbye.